Welcome to part two of navigating around MT4. Previously we looked at indenting price. The icon to the left allows us to scroll back without getting pulled back to where price is currently. And if I do need to get to where price is in, the, in real time, just simply clicking this icon brings me back to where I was. On our price chart we can see time um, on our x-axis and price on our y-axis and simply by dragging that up and down we'll, see, we'll be able to see a wider range and what's happening below where price is currently situated and on the x-axis here be able to zoom in and out zooming in and if I just scroll to the left hand side I'll be zooming out to have more of a line chart view there are many different ways to load indicators onto our charts. This is one of the methods by clicking on our indicator list. And we'll come down to what an indicator is and how useful they are for us very shortly. Similarly, navigating between different time frames can be done by clicking this icon here and flipping between a one hour chart to, for example, a 15 minute chart. This is also displayed down here so we can do it quite quickly just by scrolling through these time periods. Lastly, the icon to the far right shows us our templates. Templates are very useful for us to visualize price in a method or in a way that's, that's a bit more um, eye-catching or perhaps a bit more user-friendly. And We'll be making a template and loading it onto all our charts very shortly, but to navigate between our templates can be done by clicking this icon. On the far left, we're able to see all the tradable assets that Axie Trader MT4 allows us to trade. This list may vary depending on which broker you've chosen. Here we have our standard FX pairs, our exotic FX pairs, precious metals, indices, and commodities. These are all retrievable by opening our market watch as described earlier by clicking on Control M or opening our market watch. We're able to preset profiles to allow us to focus on certain, um, certain categories of tradable assets. For example, the default setting for British pound generates our pound dollar charts, and we can customize this to our preference. I'm just gonna put that back to our default setting. On the next line below, we're able to use our crosshair tool, which allows us to measure between any two distances on a chart. As I click the crosshair, a grid appears and by holding down on my mouse at this particular point and dragging down to perhaps this level here displays three numbers. The first number here uh, displayed as 39 indicates to me that between the two points that the crosshair is being dragged between there are 39 bars or perhaps 39 hours worth of price action seen as we're looking at the hourly chart. It then the middle number displays the number of points between those two distances. So that's 2,210 points, which is the equivalent of 221 pips. We'll be explaining the difference between points and pips very shortly. And lastly, 1.13756 is indicating to us the price of where my mouse is currently situated on our candlestick chart. If I let go of my mouse, the crosshair will disappear and I can reactivate that very easily by re-clicking it. Moving to the right, we have different variations of our technical analysis tools that we may use on our chart from drawing a vertical line, a horizontal support and resistance line, or a trend line, and we'll be exploring that very shortly. Here we're able to draw channels, Fibonacci retracements, perhaps draw text box to indicate to us key important levels or text labels and arrows to, to draw any particular areas of interest. Up here we have our strategy tester icon, an icon to open MetaQuotes language and auto trading for any expert advisors or automated trading software that you may use later down the line. We'll go into more detail regarding these functionality in another video. Lastly, opening our file view insert, for example, are just different methods of basically doing the same functionality that we've already looked at. Personally speaking, I like to optimize the tools and the icons that have been displayed here below as an easier way to open what I need to do.